Welcome to my short report on the Bureau of Products and Standards. And first of all, I would like to uh, acknowledge uh, the valuable contributions of uh, all my co-authors, of the team members of the BPS. So the next slide, please. So as you all know, the overall mission of the BPS is to support GIGOS in its key goal to provide consistent products describing the geometry, rotation, and gravity field of the Earth. Um, so uh, the work of the BPS can be divided in uh, four major objectives which are listed here. The figure illustrates the integration of the three pillars, geometry, gravity field, and Earth rotation to generate consistent geodetic products as a fundamental basis uh, for studying the Earth system um, and the interactions between its subcomponents. And the prerequisite uh, for this is the application of consistent standards. So the next slide, please. Uh, the organizational structure has not uh, been changed uh, in, the, in the past one, two years. And uh, so, um, was just one word uh, uh, concerning the GIGOS components. Uh, we have uh, submitted a paper to the um, IAG Symposia series, uh, the IAG Beijing, Beijing 2021. And in, in this um, BPS paper, the three components associated to the BPS are, inclu in, are included with their activities and the paper has been accept accepted for publication. Um, furthermore, uh, about 15 associate members uh, also uh, belong to the BPS re representing the uh, IAG services and other entities involved in geodetic standards and products. So next slide, please. Uh, this uh, view table shows the representatives of the IAG services. So in the upper part, you see the geometric services. In the middle, the gravimetric services. And uh, also the interactions between other enti entities is uh, ensured here by uh, representatives representing the International Astronomical Union, uh, the International Standards Organization, and uh, also uh, UNGGRM and the IAG communication and outreach branch. So the next slide, please. Um, this uh, is the BPS impl implementation plan uh, from uh, 2020 until the end of this year. It is, uh, can be divided in three uh, main activity groups. So the first one is on communication and coordination activities. Uh, the, the second uh, is a, a specific task uh, related to products and standards. And uh, the third are outreach activities. Uh, I have to mention here that uh, some of the schedules uh, have been changed uh, due to COVID situation, for example, the Unified Analysis Workshop was originally uh, planned for uh, last year. Also, the GIGOS, uh, GIGOS days uh, uh, in, in Munich uh, has to be shifted to, to this year in, in no, uh, November. And um, another thing is the uh, updating of the IES uh, conventions. Uh, has also be uh, to be uh, shifted. So the deadline now is until the uh, beginning of, of next year. So this, of course, has to be updated in the next version of the implementation plan. We are currently working on, on this issue. And this is also a major topic for the uh, GIGOS uh, strategic uh, planning meeting, which will take place jointly with the GIGOS days 2022 in November in Munich. Uh, next slide, please. So I have just one slide summarizing the major BPS activities. So in the upper part, we see activities which are uh, performed mainly within IHE and NGGOS. 
long-term activity is the evaluation of geodetic standards and convention in interaction with the IAG components and other entities involved. This work requires regular updates and uh, as you all know, uh, the BPS inventory, the first version has been published in the handbook 2016 and then the updated version in the uh, handbook 2020. Another uh, important issue is the rewriting, revising of the IAS conventions. And here the BPS is mainly involved in the updating of chapter uh, one, uh, general definition and numerical standards. Concerning the IAS conventions, I think the upcoming uh, Unified Analysis Workshop uh, 2022 in conjunction uh, with uh, the REFAC meeting would be a good opportunity to discuss this, the updating uh, in, in much detail. There will be a session on, um, uh, on standards and I'm in contact with Nick uh, Stamatakos uh, to uh, put together a, uh, a session where the IAS convention could play a major role. Unfortunately, I did not receive uh, feedback from Nick so far. I'm still waiting for, for his response on this issue. Other topics in, uh, include uh, the development of integrated products and uh, the BPS also contributes to the committee on uh, essential geodetic variables and uh, the working group uh, towards a consistent uh, set of geodetic parameters for the definition of a new GIF. In the second uh, part in the middle, there are external uh, activities of the, the BPS uh, concentrating on the interaction with the external stakeholders in the field of uh, standards and conventions and also working together with the uh, UN GGRM subcommittee on geodesy and with the newly established uh, Global Geodetic Center of Excellence. <clears throat> the final block includes uh, various outreach activities. So a, a lot of things have been done in, in the last uh, in the last year uh, regarding the rep uh, representation of geodetic products at the GIGOS website and also the BPS contributed to the GIGOS video discover GIGOS and geodesy and uh, because of the success I think uh, of, uh, of the representation of the uh, activities on, on the GIGOS website we are planning uh, to support developments towards the GIGOS portal in cooperation uh, with the GIGOS coordinating office, the GIGOS working group on DOIs and the BPS. So the next slide, please. Uh, I have just one slide related to the product descriptions at the GIGOS website. This was shown already just to summarize a few things. The, classification, uh, the geodetic products are classified uh, in uh, geodetic themes and in uh, Earth system components. As the Earth system con uh, components and space are considered as the entrance for uh, primarily for non-geodesists who, who are not so familiar with all the special geodetic expressions. Mm -hmm. and, uh, on the right hand side of this figure, you see the products which are currently uh, provided at the GIGOS website. And the products are here classified according to the geodetic themes, reference frames, geometry, earth orientation, gravity field, and positioning and applications. So the next slide, please. So this is the final slide. So I really would like uh, to acknowledge the strong collaborative work between the different entities involved uh, here regarding the representation of uh, geodetic uh, products at the GIGOS website. And uh, this was really a very good uh, cooperation and uh, I would to thank very much all the participating uh, individuals. With these product descriptions, uh, the BPS uh, supports GIGOS in making geodesy more visible to other disciplines and to society. So uh, this, I think, is a very important outreach activity. And uh, 
as you all know, the GIGOS website provides an information platform to bring the geodetic observations, products, and the IAG services into the focus. Uh, planned are the developments uh, towards the GIGOS portal in cooperation uh, between the GIGOS coordinating office, the working group and DOIs and BPS, which should uh, be then a central access and discovery point for geodetic data and products, uh, a so-called one-step shop. And with this, we like to we would like to ensure interoperability with internal and external por uh, portals. Uh, these are, for example, the uh, uh, data portals, data and product portals of the IAG services, and to the uh, outside. Uh, we would like to have interoperability with the GEOS portal, with EOS DIS and GEOS set that data services, for example. Very important in this context is uh, the, the FAIR principle, which stands for findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. And here on the uh, bottom of uh, this slide, you see the, present, uh, the paper, which I mentioned already the uh, paper for the IAG Symposia series with the title GIGOS Bureau of Products and Standards, Description and Promotion of Geodetic Products. I hope that this will be published uh, soon. It, it had been uh, accepted a few weeks ago. Thank you very much for your attention.